Hey, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. So I'm going to keep this intro nice and sweet because you can see what the title is. Today we're going to be looking at Cine Samples 12 Horn Ensemble Library, Sample Library. All right. It's a powerful library. It's pretty cheap and it's really good. Okay. I hope you guys enjoy this. Let's get straight to it. Right. Okay. So let's open up. This is what it looks like when you open up Cine Brass 12 Horn Ensemble. Like I said, this is my first time really, uh, trying this library out. I've just had a quick go on literally just the True Legato. So I don't really know what to expect with the others. So let's have a look and explore it with me. So this is what the articulations uh, patch looks like. Let's have a quick look. Okay, so let's make sure we can play this and let's have a little go. Let's see what we can create. Okay, so it sounds like we're on uh, staccato. Oh, I see. So you can change between. Oh, so if this is if you have a pedal. Okay, so I don't have a um, sustain pedal. So you could change between staccato and legato. But what's interesting is, unlike other libraries, it's not to do with how how hard you're pressing it. It's with the mod wheel. Uh, it's unfortunate that's not showing up. If I press here, if I do this, it'll show up. You'll be able to see it now. So this is how the staccato sounds. pretty high with this. Cool, okay, so let's go to the true legato because I think this is pretty much all we can do with this. And uh, now, uh, just a quick thing with the mixes, I will show you on this, but I'll show you on the other, I think on the legato, it sound, sound better. So this is the full mix, we can have dry and close. So that's just the close mic full on, then we have the room, which is a bit of the room and surround. That's just the surround, but funnily, funnily, it actually sounds closer than the room. Best legato. That will show up more on the legato, but I'll show you in a second. So that's quite a nice. It's quite a nice, and then custom mix is what you want to create. But the full mix is quite nice most things and if you want it really bright I think that kind of thing and then the legato is really good when we get to the legato anyway so let's do the legato now let's have a quick look so as it says it's true legato so it's what they've done they've sampled the transitions between notes so for example this D and this A you can actually hear the player go wah, wah, go like up if that makes sense so it's not just uh, it's not just two notes. It's not like that. You've actually got the transition. Sounds very really nice on that. Let's get dry and close. All right. Check it out on Rune. All 
ambient. Best legato. So it's not incredible on faster stuff, you know, things like that. But it is really nice. Um, it's really nice for slower stuff. Let's check out Bright Jaw. And then custom mix, obviously. So let's do some playing around with the mod wheel. So you'll all know this. Sound better down here, probably. Now, what you can actually do, uh, where is it? Settings, you can have poly legato, so obviously here at the moment. You can see I'm pressing two notes down, but only one plays at a time. <laughs> Spazzing out a bit there. Okay, so let's go to poly and then you can play chords. Oh, that's terrible. Let's go again. Okay, so you have some really nice deep brass if you want, like this. It's really nice. Let's do the Batman thing. <laughs> I can't do that with the mod wheel and my hands. Okay, <laughs> it's impossible. I need to turn the release up, I think. Anyway, it doesn't matter. That's it, that's it. So that's, that sounds nice. I like it. It sounds, I, I really like it for higher up stuff. So like I said, if you're going faster like that, it sort of messes it up a little bit. It's not the best. You'll see that it sounds better down here. Love it. Okay, it's really cool. It's really nice for big trailer stuff. You know, you just have that. Okay, let's go to Ensemble Staccato. Okay, let's do this. Let's have a look. Okay, so this is... Okay, so we've got... So this is cool. Okay. Oh, sorry, it's really it's delayed when I'm playing it uh, through the thing that I'm recording it. So if you know what I mean. So um, as I'm playing with this, it's actually a little bit delayed. So 
it's a little bit tricky to do it, but, but I hope you can, I'm sure you can hear how it actually sounds. Quite impressed with how fast you can play on the staccato. Sounds nice. Okay, ensemble mutes. Let's have a look. Okay. Interesting. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. It's when they're using their mutes. I mean, personally, I won't really use that much unless I really want a certain effect. But um, yeah, interesting. Let's have a look at this legacy. Let's see how the mutes sound different on legacy. So there is some difference. Let's have a look at articulations then. Again, I bet it's only the two. Hmm. Okay. Sorry, I'm playing really badly today. So I'm trying to look up here uh, what I'm looking at while I'm playing. Okay, let's have a look at the true legato. Let's see how that's different compared to the other one. compared to that to the oh, we're still in legacy aren't we are we I can't no okay let's have a look at what this eighths is about uh, I didn't really hear too much of a difference between the legacy legato and the uh, newer legato true legato um, Okay, so this is like the staccato stuff. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, cool, it sounds nice. Uh, see what the limits are of how fast we can take it okay and then sustains I'm guessing yep what it says let me know if you know that I'm sure some of you will recognize that score There's no legato there. Okay, well that's fair enough, that's quite nice. But anyway, so far, the best thing for me out of this library is that legato. If you know you want to create some Brahms with this, you can go really low. Maybe the bright jaw for the Brahms. But what I would recommend on this is adding some OTT on here. You can really get a good Brom going. Turn this all down to about 
10% for now. This layered with some other Brahms will be really nice. It's really nice. Uh, by the way, OTT is a free plugin that you can get from X for Records. Really great plugin for making things sound a little bit more bitey. I would always keep it low, you know, around 10% on up, upwards compression, downwards compression, and depth as well. Uh, you don't want to go crazy because it ends up sounding ridiculous. Can you hear all that background noise? Horrible. So you don't want to go too high with that. Uh, it's great for sound design stuff as well. Uh, but yeah, let's have a look. Um, yeah, overall I think we've covered everything really. I don't really want to be going too long with this video because there's not really that much to cover with it. Um, So like I said, let's just summarize. So in terms of going fast with the legatos, it's not the greatest. If you are gonna go fast, I'd say this range, upper mids, because if you go higher as well, actually sounds like okay. I love that the slides in this are lovely. And then down here is really nice. As soon as you start going lower. But as far as you know, libraries go with this kind of stuff, it's awesome. And like I said, this is I think around forty or fifty dollars. Um if you have student discount as well. I'm not sure exactly how much. I'll put it up on screen now. But uh, yeah, go you know, go check it out. Uh, I'm not endorsed by Cine Samples to make this this video. I just wanted to give you a quick showcase of what uh, 12, uh, Cinebrass 12 Horn Ensemble is all about because I don't personally I don't need Cinebrass Pro at the moment at this stage for the trailer music stuff I'm doing but I really needed some great powerful horns so 12 Horn Ensemble I mean you can't get much better than that 12 Horns come on it's powerful oh glitched out a bit there Really great stuff. So, yeah, it's a really good library. Uh, even the staccatos are really nice, uh, but I'm a massive fan of the true legatos for those big soaring brass lines in the midst of your trailer music climax section. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I just want to conclude it there. Uh, this 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 concludes the um, overview section of the actual library. Okay. Okay, I hope you got some value from that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, and I hope I gave it justice, you know, doing this sort of overview demo review because I just got the sample library quite recently, so I'm still quite new to it. But, you know, from my first looks, I can see that it is absolutely fantastic and it's definitely going to be used in a lot of my music. Let me know what you think down below if you're interested in the sample library or if you've already got it. And if you already have the sample library, let me know down below and let me know if you have any tips, you know, for us composers who have just got the sample library. Like I said, I hope you guys got some value from this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.